Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is the second half of the general reading of future events. The uh, first video cut off before I can get into the second half of the video, but at least it got the most important part of the message out. All right, let's get into your cards. All right, the first card to come out for you today was the Sun card. So, like I said, this is a general reading about future events, so take it how it resonates. Now, with the star card appearing here, this could be, you know, being very much connected to God. This is spiritual enlightenment. This is receiving divine gifts. And this is also having wish fulfillment and dreams coming true. Please excuse the dog snoring in the background. So, with this energy being here, you know, you're very much connected to the celestial realm. And the star card also symbolizes being in the spotlight so getting lots of attention lots of recognition whatever it is that you are doing next card out for you is the eight of swords so with the eight of swords being here this is being trapped in your head this is negative thoughts this is feeling like you're in a mental prison now what's interesting here is that as you are in the star energy you know you're feeling this happiness this peace something happens a demonic energy to make you feel like you're in the eight of swords because once you're having that peace and that happiness and that wish fulfillment the demonic energies will try to take that away from you next card out for you is the nine of wands so it puts you in this wounded warrior energy where you know everything you are striving for you have to fight for and with the wounded warrior energy you know this is like you know fighting lots of battles everything is an uphill battle but you're still standing next card out for you is the three of cups so this is people this is a group of people here this could be social gatherings this could be your community um, you know, take it how it resonates, family, friends, you know, with the Three of Cups being here, I feel like these people, there's a group of people that causes you this anxiety, that causes you this stress. So whenever, you know, they see you, they try to cause some type of conflict with you because they see you as the star, they see your light. And when demonic energies see your light glowing, they try to diminish it, they try to attack it because they know that you could see through them if that makes sense so you are the light that's illuminating the room that has you know uh, nothing but darkness and you are this light shining and you could see their flaws and even if you're not even saying anything to them just your mere presence is going to illuminate all their faults all their demonic energy is going to become very uh, agitated and aggressive by you Next card out is the Five of Swords. So this is a toxic energy here. These people are coming from a very low vibrational energy. They are uh, self-sabotaging as well. So they don't care what the repercussions are. You know, they, they will care once God has put judgment on them. But at the very moment, they live for the moment. They go on attack mode. And they try to do uh, deceitful things, being underhanded, you know, trying to do ambushes. And, you know, when one plan doesn't work, they try to do another thing. You know, this is a very demonic energy and you're always having to fight this constant war with these uh, low vibrational demonic realms. Next card out for you is the hangman. So, you know, they put you in your head a lot. You know, they cause you stress. They like to attack your mind. And that is the mm. uh, the devil's favorite place to play is the mind because he knows that he can cause uh, stress and worry. And when you affect the mind, you can affect, you know, the whole health of everything. So this demonic energy targets your mind because he knows uh, that, it you know, it attacks your spirit. So, you know, this is what their energy of what they're doing. Next card out for you is the five of wands. This is fighting. This is arguments. This is disputes. So this is a spiritual battle. You know, you are fighting a spiritual battle. You know, it's not, um, you know, this person doesn't like this person because they didn't like the way they were dressed or this person doesn't like this person because of the music they listen to. It has nothing to do with anything as petty as that. This is all very much connected to a spiritual battle. It is the very essence of your soul that they do not like because their soul, if they even have one, is demonic and they are just hosts walking around in human form, but there is an entity that is in them that is causing them to act out on this. They are foot soldiers for the devil as we are the foot soldiers for the one true God. Next card out for you is the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you're going to come out of all this betrayal. Yes, they've stabbed you a bunch of times, 
with these uh, negative energies, with this low vibrational uh, tax, but you are going to release this energy. You're going to come out prosperous because the next card out is the sun card. So with the sun card being here, God is going to be blessing you with happiness and joy, uh, a spiritual union here. You know, if you're not with your divine counterpart, then you will be. This is also a uh, birthing, you know, rebirth, life, like spring, you know, this is resurrection, you know, possibly even a pregnancy here for a select few of you. But this is creating something, you know, creating and manifesting something, spreading your light like the sun here. You are this in this sun energy, you know, you are bringing in this glow and this holy light. Next card out for you is the, let me get this card out, bear with me seed planter intention so with this card coming out it's letting you know to pay attention to your thoughts pay attention to what you're manifesting here because negative thoughts can plant inside your mind like thorns and it'll spread like wildfire through your mind and is very hard to uproot it can be it seem nearly impossible to get these negative thoughts out once they start going so it's letting you know here to keep your thoughts positive because we manifest what it is that we want to see in our life, you know, asking Jesus in name, asking you shall receive, but also keeping your thoughts positive and knowing that you will receive what it is that you are asking for in the first place. Next card out for you is Splinthus Decision. So forgive me if I'm uh, pronouncing the name of this plant wrong. It is for, it's spelled S-P-I-L-A-N-T-H-E-S. And this is uh, the symbolism of decisions. So this card being here, it's letting you know that, you know, the lines are being crossed as far as, or I should say divided by what's going on in the world at large. You know, we are in a spiritual battle and we have to choose sides. Please excuse the dog in the background. So we have to choose sides, whether this is, you know, what side you're going to choose, whether this is going to be of God or, you know, of a bad energy, of a dark energy, of, uh, you know, being of a, a demonic nature, you know, so this is letting you know, what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose God and his path? Or are you going to, uh, you know, cause, you know, mayhem and destruction? And it's also letting you know to whatever, you know, what you choose, you are manifesting something and to, you know, stand by your faith, to stand by what it is that you represent and to, you know, know that God has put you here for a specific purpose and to protect that purpose and to be willing to defend, you know, whatever this is. Are you willing to defend? Are you willing to die for what it is that you believe in is what this card symbolizes. And also here with the decision card, it's letting you know, because it's very much connected to the mouth and words, to be careful with who you confide in, because not everyone is worthy of your words. Not everyone is worthy of what it is that you're manifesting. They're not even worthy to know the, the true aspect of your spiritual gifts. So remember that. And the splinthus, like I said, excuse me if I'm pronouncing the name of that plant wrong, but it has lots of medicinal benefits that are worth looking into. It's native to the tropics of Africa and South America, and it is uh, helpful with mouth irritation. So. It